All right, so I'm here because of a steam boiler for leaking water. This is the other end. And I got water on the floor and it's dripping right there. Okay, it's right off the union. Uh, hopefully what I do is tighten it but we got a leaker shut it down Come back, or is it dry? Alright. So, dun, dun, dun. Dry. But now, new leak. Uh, packing that. Alright. Now what am I hearing? <sighs> Nothing's leaking at least. Dry. Okay. See what's happening inside the floor. <laughs> so far, nothing. Looks like I sealed it up. <sighs> Cools and comes back on. 
So here's the boiler. I turned the steam part off. Got a hot water loop on here. That's pretty cold. We're not moving water. That's pretty cold. Cold. Set for 180. That's pretty high for it to be set 180. We're not even pulling water through, so this might be straight plugged up or it could be airbound. I'm gonna have to get a bucket here, see what happens if I open it. Because I'm not just gonna dump the water on the floor. But this is moving at least. I mean, it's almost like I have a cold boiler. Pipe's not that hot. And I mean, these are cooking. So, have an issue with that too. The other side of the boiler, I did find a bucket at least. So, just curious. Does anything come out? Not a mud, a chunk of mud. So the strainer kind of did its job. Let's turn this off. I just had a nice chunk of mud drop out. As you can see from that strainer, I have a feeling it's plugged. Power switch on this beast is there. I got water coming out. All right. I'll close it down. Pretty hot. A little steamy. Okay. So now I'm wondering will it move? Because I did get some crap out. Soupy stuff. Oh, that's a lot of mud. I mean, that water is really hot right now. Look at all the mud it left on the side of the bucket. Don't try this at home. I'm a, I'm a professional. I could burn myself. I'm paid for it. Okay. Oh. So the strainer's clear. Curious what's gonna come out of here. Okay, we got water not drain. Good. All right. Air air coming out of the air vents. A good sign we had asbestiosos here once upon a time but whatever so let's turn it back on as long as it's not airbound water should right up this should get hot which it's not but yes it is oh we went down and on i'm now feeling heat there oh, i got heat moving let's see if i could show you guys the blue Yep, I got heat. Side of plugged. Return pretty much. Actually supply. This is getting hot. This is not really moving. We'll be back in a minute. It's saying about 70. I actually gotta give this boiler a good flush. Cause that mud and crap coming out. See, is that? You can see it's gone up a little. I don't think this is as responsive as this feels. Let's go check the other side. And my return. Yeah, my return pipe. So, just really put a meter on it, but. If I got heat going up, I should have heat coming here. 
Ugh. And, yep, I got heat coming around. I can feel it. All right. That's a good thing, so I fixed that. I'm not even here for that, but I fixed it. I mean, I do like the separate air vents per what return line. Where is this reading? Up to 80, it's warming up. Okay, but that means this now will actually cycle like it's supposed to, and I don't like 180. Too close to flashing. Let's go 160. Because we don't need to make steam, okay? So if we clicked off because of that, and back on. So we're at now the water's about 160 because I heard it wanting to click on and it's not clicking off because of a test. So we're coming back on. So yeah, it was this. All right. Now it's sparking, damper opened. Okay, it's sparking. And we're back on. Look, a radiator leak, and they had no idea that this was plugged up and water wouldn't move. But the house is empty and somebody's just about to move in, so sometimes when somebody new is moving in is a good time to find out what all the problems are. But we got 160, it's cycling on and off about there. Like I'm saying, I don't think this gauge is as accurate as the water, but whatever. We got like almost a hundred on it, so I gotta go check upstairs, make sure my radiator is not leaking. Boy, it's been off for a couple minutes. Yeah, let's see what do I get out of here still. Uh, there should be no steam flashing. All right, it's coming out pretty clear. Okay, that one's good. Not as soupy. Boom, okay, so. paper towels this bucket's too small but at least I got it okay. order's good and I mean it's a little while to respond but let's go check the radiator all right so this is open, this will get warmer faster. And there's no leakage. That's good signs, good signs. You hear sludge and crap inside. Ba boom Gotta love the sounds of old steam houses. But 
You have no leak, so. Close it down some. There's no reason to leave it 100%. You know, all that means is that it's going to let air out fast and heat up faster. It's getting hot. It's hot to back here. It's warm. God, it's hot now. And no leak. We're done. Yep, we're done. Till next time. Peace. I'm out. All right, I put all my tools away. This is where all of a sudden every problem decides to come back. And well, it looks dry. So, yeah, it's successful. I'm done. Peace.